You can't talk to people, and neither can I. That's why you're here. Whenever you're face to face with someone and try to think of words to say, you just can't. Your mind wanders into the mystery of what is even happening. Take it from me, as a professional at making conversation with people, <clears throat> totally, I have some tips for you. One thing you have to remember is that they are humans too. Don't feel shy like you're gonna say something wrong or feel out of place, but try and feel comfortable. Everyone you talk to should have some level of human decency, so don't be shy to make mistakes. More. I might have confused you there, but I meant you should always want to know more. If someone's telling you a story, don't just say the classic, really, or wow, or that's crazy, but be genuinely interested in what they're saying. Even if you don't care at all about what they're saying, still try and feel as interested as you can be. Trust me, if someone comes up to you and says, my grandma just died, and you respond with, wow, it's not gonna work. This brings me to my next point, which is don't overthink. If you think too hard about what you're gonna say next, You'll think too hard and end up causing inescapable awkward silence. When you talk to someone, let your words flow naturally and pretend your mind is a wave in the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> what does that even mean? Anyways, my next point is avoid yes or no questions. They are the easiest to think of but the hardest to respond to. If you're only saying things that they can respond to with a yes or a no, the conversation won't flow. Instead, ask open-ended questions using who, what, where, when, why, and how. Instead of saying, have you subscribed to Everyday Wonders yet? By the way, you definitely should. Say something like, what's your favorite video of Everyday Wonders? Or something open-ended. This gives them a chance to say something either than yes or no. But maybe your problem isn't that you can't talk to people, but it's that no one wants to talk to you. That's rough. This may happen because you look too shy or unapproachable and no one wants to talk to you. Things like cracking your knuckles, avoiding eye contact, and staring at that damn weather up on your phone can make you seem unapproachable. However, if someone does finally come up to you, there are some important things to remember. If you make them talk about themselves, they won't stop talking. People love when they get to talk about themselves, so keep asking questions. It will seem like the conversation is flowing, but in reality, all that's happening is they are yapping. Once they finally stop yapping, share your honest thoughts about what they said. Whether you agree to it, don't agree, or don't care at all. I'm joking about the last part, by the way. Actually, no, I'm not. Just share your honest opinion. After all this information, you should be able to talk to people now thanks to me. Now you won't be any awkward Joe anymore, and you will be the pro at talking to people. I would greatly appreciate it if you paid up by hitting that subscribe button. Subscribe for more videos.